Patrick's Day was just brought up by the uh, previous speaker. If you've ever been to Pittsburgh uh, during St. Patrick's Day, you don't know what you're missing. They dye the rivers green for St. Patrick's Day. It's really quite a spectacle. And once again, everyone is Irish. There's this place in Pittsburgh uh, that I remember going to when I was growing up. It's called the Strip District. It's not what you think it is. It's a uh, little strip uh, near, uh, near the river where they bring in all the fresh food from the river and then they take it to the restaurants. It's like a giant outdoor market. There's this restaurant there, my favorite restaurant in the world. Every time I go home on furlough or break or something like that, I go there first stop. I get off the airport, get off the airplane, go into the airport, go to the restaurant. It's called Fermanti Brothers. The greatest sandwiches you ever have in the world. It's still my favorite food to this day. What it is, it's just a simple sandwich. It's uh, bread, uh, hamburger, cheese, lettuce, tomato, coleslaw, but down in the middle, french fries. No one puts french fries on a sandwich unless you're in Pittsburgh. You can actually go to Myrtle Beach because they actually just opened the location there. And trust me, it'll be the best coleslaw you will ever have in your life. Uh, after Pittsburgh, my mom was cured with her cancer. I uh, moved north to literally the middle of nowhere. On uh, the previous census, there were more cows than people. That's not a lie. I live on a little lake. It's called uh, Lake Latonka. I pretty much grew up there. Uh, I would go out canoeing in the morning uh, on a kayak. I'd wake up around 6 o'clock before school. Just relax, you know, a little bit of exercise. But the thing is, whenever I went to my school for the first time, that's what was really terrifying to me. I was so used to everyone in the city going back and forth because of my family. It was Hicks City. There were three types of people in my school. Drama kids, Hicks, and Jocks. I was in the middle. I really didn't know where I fit. I was city boy, and they still called me city boy until my senior year. <coughs> People would actually drive their tractors to school. I'm not kidding. They did. It was really terrifying. Uh, in school, you could say I was the awkward kid. I was in between everyone. I didn't really have a group. And so I started to get involved in the arts. And I eventually, I had stage fright. I was that awkward kid sitting in the back of the class. And I started participating in music, chorus, uh, art club, and I actually got the star role in two musicals my junior and senior year. Uh, my junior year, I was a rock star in this made up play, and then my senior year, I was the fan of the band with the opera. Now, in high school, uh, I met this girl. Uh, her name is Taylor. And on uh, Osmer's crazy ex-girlfriend speech a couple weeks ago. Uh, I would say she was probably really crazy. She showed up to my house at 2 a.m. and was throwing rocks in my window. Uh, that I definitely took notes on that one. <laughs> on one of my final notes, I have three, three heroes in my life that I look up to, and unfortunately, they've all passed away. Uh, one of them is Steve Jobs. I got to meet Steve Jobs and shake his hand at a technology uh, meeting at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. It really was a moment in my life, one of the greatest moments in my life. My other uh, life hero is Randy Pouch. If those of you who don't know who he is, he is a computer science, well, he was a computer science teacher at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. I also got to meet him and shake his hand at the same technology meeting. Unfortunately, they both died of pancreatic cancer. And whenever I volunteer for an organization involving cancer, I always make sure it's pancreatic because that disease took two of the most important people in my life. The third one is Chris Cobb. I knew Chris Cobb before he was famous, before the sniper. I had heard him talk at uh, the University of Pittsburgh, I think in 2004, 2005. It really put an impact on me that made me want to join the United States Navy. And I continued that path, I applied for the service academies. I actually got nominations to all the service academies. I got accepted to all of them, except the Naval. Instead, I got a letter of intent. My letter of intent stated, you can go to a school of your, of your choice for one year, and then we'll take you. So, I chose the Citadel. 
Basilio, I thought, oh, it'll prepare me. I can just go there, it'll prepare me. Whenever I'm ready, I can go to the Naval Academy. Well, I came here. First day, I met Toastmaster Ford. He and I, we went into uh, Hell Week together, and uh, we've been really good friends ever since. And that happened too many times, and I decided I like where I'm at, and I'm not going. I have a full ride scholarship from athletics right now. I'm uh, doing that, and I'm trying to commission in the Air Force as an intelligence officer, and then hopefully getting a CIA scholarship.